Hello and welcome to VanQuest instructional video on how to use Peggy. This is Peggy, one of our camper vans. Um, to, so to start with I'll just show you how to unlock. We've got the keys here, you've got a lock button and an unlock button. Press the unlock button once, unlocks the vehicle. Um, the first thing to show you is about the fuel, diesel. You need to open the passenger door to actually fill up the diesel because there's a little catch here when you open the cap. We have a thing called a fuel angel um, and that's just to stop you putting the wrong fuel in so it is diesel only okay so i'll open the sliding door the next thing to show you is how to spin the passenger seat round so the first thing to do is to make sure that the seat is in the fully upright position using the side lever then the seat, there's two levers under here, one slides the seat backwards and forwards, the other one um, unlocks the um, spin mechanism. So you need to make sure the seat is approximately three quarters of the way forwards to allow it to spin around. Then you lift the unlocking lever and spin it round. It needs to be in the upright position so that it will pass um, over the base. So now I'm going to show you how to turn the driver's seat around, very similar to the passenger swivel, um, just a few little extra bits to remember. You need to make sure that the vehicle is in gear and that the handbrake is down to allow the seat to actually pass over the handbrake. Again, you need to make sure the seat's in the fully upright position. You also need to make sure the ar this armrest is down because this needs to pass under the steering wheel and the steering wheel needs to be in the fully upright and in position. You will receive the van with the steering wheel in this position so you will only need to adjust the steering wheel um, if you move position. Again, there's two mechanisms on the underside of the van, one to move the seat backwards and forwards and one to unlock. The seat needs to be three quarters of the way forward again then unlock the swivel pass it round. So now I'm going to show you how to pop up the elevating roof. We've got two catches here with safety pins. So you unclip the safety pins, undo your catches and unhook the straps. You'll need these to help bring the roof down later. You need to make sure that either this side sliding door or the passenger door is open before you push the roof up so you don't get an airlock. But when everything's unclipped, literally just give it a push and then the roof goes up. The next thing to show you is the bunk um, base. So there's a mattress topper on top of it. This is what we give you if there's people sleeping up in the roof space. Um, and to lift the bunk up, you press the bottom of the bed and push up. Next to show you is the control panel. Have the on off button here, press it on. The leisure battery lights up. Um, if you want to check the level of the power battery, battery power you just press the button again and it gives you an indication we're almost fully charged the V is the vehicle battery you don't need to worry about that the tap you need to have this tap pressed on for the water to work we'll show you that next and this symbol next to it just indicates the water level we will send you away with a full tank of water 32 litres of fresh water um, however we've only filled it up slightly just to demonstrate today next to the control panel is the diesel heater control box this you need to press it twice to turn it on and you get on come up there are two temperature settings that will show the first temperature which is lower with the thermometer is the temperature that it currently is in the van a little bit chilly today um, and the second temperature is the temperature that you want the van set at so that the thermostat will come in when it hits that temperature so for example if you wanted the van set to 17 degrees overnight you would just move the arrow button until it was set at 17 and then you leave leave it turned on um, you just need to be mindful that you don't leave any bags or any blankets in front of the vent which is under the driver's seat and i'll show you that when we show you around the van to turn it off you need to just press the button 
and then it turns itself off. So underneath the control panels are a couple of light switches here. These are to turn on and off the LED lights underneath. We also have some touch sensitive lights around the van. You literally just touch them to turn them on or off. This is our 12 volt electric fridge. It's a 50 litre capacity. Um, you don't have to do much to it. It will be turned on when we send you out with the van. If you do need to turn it off overnight, if it's a little bit too noisy for you, there is a power button inside. You just press and hold to turn it off and then press and hold to turn it back on. Just to show you the contents of the kitchen cupboard and drawer, there's a push lock button, which you press and open. We've got some essentials in there, kettle to make a cup of tea, wine glasses, pots and pans, bowls, plates, and up above, cupboard drawer with all your essentials. Okay, so the next thing to show you is how to pull the bed out. You firstly pull these two levers, flip the cushion over, you then lean in, pull down the two locking mechanisms, you unhook this strap from the back, drop it down and drop that bed down. Okay, and then to put it back up again, you need to lift this up, place the locking mechanisms into the lock position again, which locks it. Flip this back over, lift your levers and push in. I'll show you the back bit when we're in the boot in a moment. Now I'm going to show you the table in Peggy. Um, Teggy's unique that she has a table and sliding door. It's the only one of our vans currently that has a table and sliding door. So to release, you need to lift the table up to release it from the bottom tabs. And then it kind of slides out of the top tabs. And then I'll show you how to put it up outside. So to open the legs, pull. Then we have a freestanding table to put the legs away, to lay it down. And there's some red buttons here that say push. So to place the table back in the sliding door, you need to line it up roughly so that the table is level under the tabs here. You lift it up and then being careful of your fingers, push it in so that the bottom tabs catch the table until it's solid. So now we're going into the back of the van. This is just to show you the final piece of the bed that lifts up. And you've got the seatbelt hook and the hook that it attaches to here and that secures it up. In here we have some silver screens. Um, in the back of the van all the way around we have curtains but for the front, for the two side screens and the front screen we have the silver screens and these just stick on with little sucker pads silver side out. That's for warmth and privacy. We also provide you with camping chairs for however many people you have and they'll be in the back as well. So the next thing to show you is the gas locker. This has again got a push button to open. You have two gas canisters. You have one full and one in use. It does need to be turned off for travel and it is clockwise to turn it off and I will turn that off now. It's just a button on the top, a dial on the top. Finally, just to show you the electric hookup and the water. So when you arrive at a campsite, if you are an electric hookup, we provide you with um, an electric hookup cable. To plug in, you lift this cap, 
lift the blue cap here, run it along the top, push into the power. Okay, and this other end would be attached to the campsite electrics. To release, you need to press this blue lever on the side and pull out. And for the water, you have a key with the van key. Pop this in here, unlock. Then you place your hose pipe in the hole and this end you connect to the campsite's water supply to fill up. But don't worry about filling it up to bring it back to us. We fully change the water between each customer. So to pull the roof down, you need to grab this handle and pull the bunk base down. Making sure the mattress is level and not sticking out, pushing the canvas out at the sides. And also making sure the bungee rope is attached at the back to keep the scissor hinges away from the canvas. Again, I'll show you this fully if you hire the van from us. Then facing forwards, grab your handles and slowly pull the roof down. You need to make sure the side door is open for this again so you don't get an airlock. Bring the roof approximately three quarters of the way down then it will kind of support itself i sometimes use my hand to help and then you need to sort the, the canvas material away it's imperative that this canvas stays away from these clips just making sure it's nice and tidy at the back then you need to ensure that the clips are lined up with the hooks at the top if you need to you can pull the roof to, from one side to the other and again, I help my hand, I use my hand to help me do this and keep the canvas away. There we are. And then making sure there's no canvas. Hook the clips back on. Pop your safety pins in. And then attach the loops around the hooks. Done. To swivel the seats back around, very similar to turning them forwards in the first place, you need to make sure they're in the fully upright position and again approximately three quarters of the way forwards and they will just spin around and they will click into the front position. With the driver's seat, if you've adjusted the seat up or down, again, you need to make sure the seat's in the fully upright position. You need to make sure this armrest is down to pass under the steering wheel. And you may need to make sure that the handbrake is down so that the seat will pass over it. And then you just spin the seat round. And again, it will click into the forward position.